got another planet on stash. Far from the fact that the flames of our trash. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. UFC went there for the first time at UFC 200, and they've been bringing big shows seemingly every other month ever since. They call Vegas the fight capital of the world. And if you're talking about a home base for the UFC, you're talking about Team Mobile Arena, home to some of the biggest UFC events ever. UFC 200, Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. This place has been the home of some of the biggest UFC fights in history. Tonight, you get to take the same walk to that octagon and try to make your mark on the sport. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Single collar tie now. Oh, and now a beautiful cross, DC. We'll see if he can capitalize from here. I mean, that was beautiful, the way that he took the underhook, stepped all the way across, and hit that hip toss. Back to the feet now. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh, nice punch there by Jones. Under three minutes remain in round one. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight, DC. And you have to have it because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined that title right now. He's throwing bombs every time they come into contact. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? So just over 20 total strikes. Oh! A big Lands a huge right hand. Oh, straight right. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more this is going to take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Back to the feet. He gets a turtle in that kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh! Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. So there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting You're taken right? down back to the mat again. Nice body. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got to turn it back. Well, it looks like a big knee. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu 
Now, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, your potential. <laughs> with the jet. Big knee there to the chest. There's the kick, it's blocked. Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. Oh, Jones gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Big ball once man. Now we'll get back to range. He's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. His timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Nice entry there as he gets another takedown. And I know his opponent has confidence in his ability to get back up. But I got an idea. How about don't get taken? Wow. That'll do it! He's done! He's done! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. I mean, just lands that beautiful kick right under the ribs. You can see immediately the effect that it took on his opponent as his opponent went back to the edge of the octagon, fell down to the ground, and he finished the fight. So a big win for him here tonight, and he made an even bigger statement. Here's Buffer now with the official decision. Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Matt the Immortal Brown and Henan Burrell. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the junction. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Throws the right hand there. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lands the right hand. Just over three minutes to go now. Look at the force behind that leg. They continue to exchange. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. That's a big strike right there. Flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight. And so lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Stuffs that takedown attempt oh. without issue. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. Oh! on the elbow. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Good punch land. Oh, he hurt. Oh! He's out! Unbelievable! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And 
That's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three minutes. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine is going to stop for this contest. It's a heavyweight showdown between Shaka de Souza and Clover Teixeira. Other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well rounded. We think we're getting the kickboxing match side of You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper. It's also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that man, DC. Beautiful kick. Mixed it all up. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, beautiful drop with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. What a body kick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Big hook. We march on three minutes to go. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, single collar 
tie here. to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Are you ready? Are you ready? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a very weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, beautiful jab there from Gaethje, who just might be the most watchable fighter in the UFC. It's so fun to call a just Gaethje fight. People think he's reckless. A wild man, but Trevor Whitman has him locked in. His technique is beautiful when he's striking. He's got to be careful dipping his head and throwing that jab. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Gates. Oh, huge right hand! All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue. To rain down the opponent, better move out of harm's way. The referee's gonna stop. He better start to move. He needs to put his feet on the hips, push him on the legs, and try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Big clutch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh man, look at that one body shot. Did that is so the power. The power and the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent. All right, so 43 total strikes now for Justin Gage. Really good combination of hooks in the clinch here. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Takedown defense holds up. Hate to be hit with one of those people. Oh, fades upstairs and lands crushed to the floor. land perfect. That is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. Maybe stop very soon. And they separate. Oh! Lands a nice one, too. So, 100 minutes to go here in what has been a competitive and action packed first round. 45 seconds remain in the round. Nice punch there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, oh big knee feet. there. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh! Oh, he just heard it. He just heard it. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Performance! 
a near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at four minutes. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some... Oh, oh and there is it lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad. Hey, now he has to find one more strike at the end of the night. Back to the feet. Oh, just misses with the kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Oh! Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, what a shot to the body. He told us he was going to get Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. every part of himself into these big legs. It's a nice back and forth action here. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nice great punch. Series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, second round underway. Smolka gets caught with that punch. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Oh, right under the elbow. Perfect. It was 
a perfectly placed shot, and you see his opponent reacting violently to that one. Really timing his shots nice. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Nice stick to the body. Way to mix up the target. Oh, straight right. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, big Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh! 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 was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 29 seconds of round number two. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Let's go! Get him off! Get him off! Felder's going for the rear naked choke. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. And this might just be a matter of time. So he submits courtesy of the rear naked choke. That guy's got a squeeze on him. He does a great job securing the position, getting under the neck, and then hiding his hands in order to get the finish. Fantastic performance by this fighter. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee... De
Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Vulcan Uzdemir and Diego Sanchez. Silva in that arena. This is a place where big fights happen. And tonight, you get to stand amongst the legends at the two mobile arena. These guys throwing early. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Back to his feet. Strike right to the body. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Get right here. Oh, nice liver shot, Lance. Oh, another knockdown. Oh, nice right hand. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliot is going to stop in this contest. All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between John Jones and Matt, the Immortal Brown. So straight and so accurate. Left hand punch to the clinch. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Wow, huge exit. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Oh, that kick is good by Johnny Bones. Nice leg kick. Oh, that straight punch. Knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Big head kick land. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it home. And he goes. Oh, he needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's done. He's done. Oh, big left hook there. Whoa! So 28 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones. Oh. Back to the feet. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Oh, and another leg 
right kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Big punch man. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast, so crisp. Oh, nice jab. Visibly limping here. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Johnny Bone. Real quick leg kick. He really good leg. Beautiful leg kick. DC didn't take him down to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop. It is a heavyweight collision between Sean Jones and Aljamain Sterling. Oh, man, look how quickly he gets that foot. 
hook to the target. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Over and over, he landed with big body kicks. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Very tricky when he throws that body. Combinations here. Oh, he's got his back. He start lifting him in the air to try to finish this takedown. Big head kick lands. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Oh, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, All right, coming up next, what could be a heavyweight title fight for the ages between John Jones and Justin Gaethje. You ready? another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, he's in trouble. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Trying to hammer that lead leg. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Beautiful strike. Great posture control by the opponent. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Big leg kick land. Well, John Jones in a real flow state here tonight, DC. Beautiful combination there on the Beautiful combination. And it's one of those Ventus performances. I know he's a young guy, so to say Ventus right, is crazy. But take it all the way back to his title winning performance against Shogun Hua whenever it seemed like he had everything flowing tonight seems like one of those nights. Oh, the big flying knee finds the target. Now we'll see if the longer, taller... Oh! oh, 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 oh you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a tough to even be on his feet right now. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for John Jones. Punches blocked. So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave. Oh, just digs his opponent. He that shot with every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Trying to stay in this fight. Right hand punch to the clinch. 
Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant Master position. The transition. Nice scramble. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put it to sleep. Round two is next. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, five minutes in the can. Here we go now with the start of round two. John Jones versus Justin Gaethje. Oh, thunderous leg kick versus his opponent. He tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this one. Johnny's hurt. He hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Oh, a violent strike to the body. I mean, this fight is close to being stopped. He's out! It's over! It's over! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and marched right through it to get the number. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called a stop to this contest at 32 seconds of round number two. 